Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to Crochet Podcast, episode 93. Thanks so much for inviting me over. If you are new to this channel, my name is Krista. That is my Secret Yarnery, and this channel is all about crochet and crochet-related goodness and some yarn. <laughs> So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. I think I got it this time, right? <laughs> right now, so you don't miss out on any more fun things just like this. So today is a very special day. Very special, I'm so happy. Da, da, da. Look what came, I wanna say in the mail, but in my shipment. It is my play button. I've been waiting. I hit 100,000 subscribers probably like a year ago and it just never, I kind of looked into getting the button and it says, oh, it's just gonna be, it'll just be a notification on your home screen when you log into YouTube. And I was like, okay, well that's fine, but it never happened. And I was like, well, maybe it's because I live in Africa. Maybe, I don't know why. So anyway, my daughter was like, maybe you should just ask them. And I was like, what, ask them? So I did and they were like, oh, yeah, no, all channels get reviewed within seven days of hitting 100,000, and I don't know why yours wasn't, and here's your play button. Boom! So thank you for making it possible. Thank you so much. Like, honestly, thank you so much. And let's open it. I need scissors. Do I have scissors right here? Do I have to reach? I have to reach. That wasn't too far. <laughs> okay, scissors, tape, see you later. I feel like we should have like some sort of music going on. Oh, another tape. Okay. Ready? Da, da, da. Black box, very exciting. Paperwork, a nice letter that I can frame. Thank you, YouTube. And then look at that beauty. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. This is amazing. Amazing. Hmm? Presented to the Secret Yarnery for passing 100,000 subscribers. I love it. Hmm? Love it. I just put up my disco ball yesterday. No. <laughs> it's, it matches my play to my play button. Where can I put my play button? I have to make some room with all that yarn. Hmm? It's so cute. Oh, you can hang it up on the back. It's got a little, oh, I'm not putting it on the wall. Mm -mm -mm. Can't touch something if it's on the wall. Gotta touch it. Okay, well that is so good. So, the point, I'm just gonna hold it. This is gonna be me for the whole video. <laughs> just rubbing on it. <laughs> So anyway, the play button, I did not want to ship it straight to Kenya just in case it got lost. So I shipped it to my freight forwarder. My freight forwarder has a 25 kilo minimum weight restriction. Well, it's not really weight restriction, but I have to pay for 25 kilos if for minimum. So no matter what, I have to pay for 25 kilos. It's about $400 for shipping all the way to uh, Nairobi, Kenya, to my door, so I don't mind. But then it means I might as well get some weight in there or some volume or something. So I did some Amazon shopping. I know I'm doing pretty good at holding it, right? Thank you, I'm gonna practice. It'll be me cooking dinner. Hmm? <laughs> Anyway, um, so I did a little bit of shopping for things that you might be interested in. I can switch shoulders. Uh, crochet related stuff. So let's pop over there and unbox the crochet stuff. I gotta put it down to move. Maybe I have to crochet like a necklace pendant so I can just wear it like a, like a, like a wrapper. Be like, yeah, what's up? <laughs> my kids will be running. Oh my gosh, don't even tell them about that. Okay, I'm putting it back in the box. It's really sad. Stay in the box, nobody touch you. Don't want fingerprints on that bad boy. Okay, let's go and open up the rest of it. Well, I gotta get my play button. I got all the way over here. Disco ball, hmm? Play button, hold on. Now it's a party. <laughs> okay, so crochet related stuff. First of all, the stitch markers in bulk. I'll put the price up on the screen. I wanna say I got it for $6.50, and there are 600 of these. Uh, then it, the price went up, I think, to $8. I'll put the current price up. I paid $6.50 for 600 stitch markers. And 
they are loose and they have all the colors. There were some other bulk ones, but the comments were like, oh, you don't get the purple, you don't get orange. Yes, I need purple, yes, I need orange. So, didn't get those ones, I got the ones with purple and orange. See all those colors in there? It's pretty much all the colors. Is there yellow? Yeah, there's yellow, just not too much yellow. That's not bad. So I'm gonna dish all these up into my little whip tins. So those are stitch markers. There's already a link to these down below, but I'll put a link to everything else that you see now down below as well. Now this is what, you know I did that video, what you need to crochet, blah, 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 blah. Great, I thought it was great information. What I should have included was one of these kits. Now this is the exact same crochet case that I use all the time, except, It comes with things inside. So to buy the empty case like I have, mine was $14. Let me get my empty case. Okay, mine's the dirty one. <laughs> mine used to look the same. <laughs> You'll never guess which one is mine. <laughs> okay, so my dirty old one, didn't know it was dirty, it's dirty. Uh, it, it was empty and I put in my own hooks. So this was $14, $13.99. Now for $15.99, two dollars, you get crochet hook sets, I think up to six millimeter. They're ergonomic, they're not clovers, but whatever. You get some stitch markers, enough to get started. You get a little knitting needle row countery thing, but you could still use it for counting for crochet. Just won't fit on your knitting needle. You get Oh, little things for keeping your knit stitches, but that's cool anyway. The colors are great. And some plastic uh, needles for sewing in your ends. All that for $2, just saying. And then on the back, what do we have here? Oh, look, you get your tape measure. That's a dollar right there. This tape measure is a dollar. You have two of these big safety pins for holding um, your, can you see them? Two big safety pins for holding your knitting together, but you could also use it for whatever you felt like. You also get a pair of snippy snippy scissors, snip snips, and you also get a ruler with a gauge on it for aluminum hooks or um, knitting needles, and a ruler, all in one. So all of that for $2, more than the case. So if you were starting out, I, well this is what I should have included in that what you need to start crocheting because this is just, you're going to love the case forever. Just saying, clearly I did. Maybe I got to put in the washing machine. <laughs> I should look up the care instructions. No, I'm just going to put in the washing machine. Now that I know it's dirty, so Demero crochet hook case with all the bits inside, that's a great thing. Another pack of 25 sharp tip uh, needles. So these are yarn needles. They're chenille number 14 needles-ish, but they go through, they're sharp tip. So they get, you can put worsted weight yarn inside the eye and uh, they're sharp tip so they, your ends just never come out because the needle goes through all the other strands, but that also means your yarn will never come out. So if you have to frog it back, you'll be cutting it out because they will be sewn in. So I got another pack of 25 of those because can't have enough. Ooh. I also purchased, it's not that exciting for most of you, but I also purchased that little hand bit thing to go to turn your centro uh, knitting machine, circular knitting machine handle into a drill. Uh, so you can use a cordless drill, a cordless screw, screwdriver. So and I also have a cordless screwdriver I bought, but it's charging over there. I got the Black & Decker. I can show you, I have, the, I have it. I can show it to you. So I have the attachment to make my centro an automatic knitting machine. That can sit there. And I got this screw, screw drill, screw gun. 
So you can't use a cordless drill, like you can't use a drill that goes too fast. You have to use a little cordless screwdriver gun thingy. So I got a little screwdriver gun thingy. It comes with eight bits, like all the bits you're gonna need for like using it in real life. All those little pieces, it's 20 bucks. I'm like 20 bucks, this was $10. So it's $30 to turn your Centro into an automatic knitting machine. So I thought that'd be fun to do. And why not? So I got that. I also got a new neck light, a new brand, just to try it out. And it's pink. It's not the brightest pink, but I'm not gonna fuss too much. What I did like about it, now I did order this a while ago because uh, it still takes about three weeks to get into Kenya to get to my house. So it takes a long time after it gets to New York, so it takes a while. Anyway, I got an email from this company with like a user manual and I was like, that's interesting. Oh, it's really wide necked. See how wide it is there? And it's nice and short. It's real short, okay, let's see. I don't know if I'm gonna like it better. It was more expensive than my other ones, so I thought I might as well give it a try. Oh, what's that? It has a button on the neck. Maybe I should have read the instruction manual <laughs> that they emailed me. Okay, for me, it feels a bit um, wide. I like my skinny bit of the other one. This one feels lumpy. Like if I had it all situated, well, it's not moving now. I'll have to give it a try. And then where's my buttons? Oh, there they are. We'll see. I like that it's short, but I don't like that it's wide. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm not sold on this one yet. But I like the bendy arm bits. The bendy arm bits feel, this feels good. This section here feels good. This part here, that feels like it's for a man. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll, I'll get back to you on that. But anyway, I still bought it. Still gave it a college try. Now I have two packs of big zipper pouches for my whips, no, for my UFOs. I bought some of these a couple years ago for uh, UFOs. UFOs are unfinished objects. So if I go through my crochet stuff and I'm like, uh, I don't really feel like working on it or I'm not gonna use it or I need yarn or I ran out of, like something is stopping me from working on it. I don't keep it as a whip, which is work in progress. I move it to unfinished object. And unfinished objects I keep in these zipper bags so that I can see what it is. I can see what is, if I have yarn, like what I need for it. And what I like about these, this is A4 size, so just document size. And what I like about them is they have a zipper and you can still see what's inside, but they're stronger than like a Ziploc bag, like they last longer. And you can kind of still squish stuff inside. You can like squeeze it and zip it shut, kind of like a suitcase if you may or may not have overpacked. So I got a whole bunch more of A4, which is a great size for most of my whips, but then, or UFOs, but then some of them were just too big to fit in that size. So this year, this time around, I'm like, I gotta find bigger ones. I was looking at those big, uh, what are they? The Ziploc storage bag ones. And I was like, oh, that'd be good. But then I was counting how many I was gonna need and like, what if I didn't get enough? And mm. so I'm like, oh, it got stressful. Then I found these ones. These are for board games. I guess instead of keeping the box that your board game comes in, you put the board game and your pieces inside these little zipper pouches and then your board game cupboard is smaller. I don't know, I like my board games in my boxes, don't get me wrong. But that is what these were advertised for. And I think I could put a decent blanket in there, like a larger project, and then like zip it shut, and then I stack them all up like books, my, my UFO books, all side by side on a shelf down there. I can show you, it's a bit messy. We're going through that one next time, next month or something. but. These are gonna be ready for that. So I have one full pack of the big and one full pack of the A4. 
and that will be enough for all my whips for the rest of my life. Whips and UFOs. Now the really exciting part, where's my scissors? I brought them over, right? Now the really exciting part coming up, my whip containers. I know a lot of people have been asking about my whip baskets and I, and the ones that I love, I bought at a grocery store here that I thought was never gonna go out of business and yep, they went out of business. Yes, knock them out if you are in Nairobi or in Kenya. Oh, these boxes are good, I'm keeping these boxes. So, I looked on Amazon, so we can at least have the same ones. I wanted something about the same size as, oh, these are perfect, as the ones from my grocery store. And this is what I found. These are almost the exact same size as my favorite, my beloved. And they're pantry baskets. These ones are glad storage baskets. I just figured if I'm shipping them all the way over to Kenya, I don't want to have anything broken or anything weird. And I thought, brand name, it was either Sterilite or Glad. So I went with uh, Glad. And the, what I like about it, the bottoms are solid, so your stuff doesn't fall through. And even on the edge, your stitch markers or your needle or whatever won't slide out. Same with your scissors and all that, but you can still see a little bit of what's inside. I would have liked clear, don't get me wrong, but I couldn't find any. So I have the different sizes. This is my usual, my go-to. I can put everything inside. My yarn, my pattern fits at the bottom. If I, ooh, it's textured. I like that. I can put everything inside here and then you just kind of carry it like a little laundry basket, put it down beside you, crochet, whatever. So I have a whole bunch of this size and they stack. That's another thing you have to look for when you're shopping for them. Some of them don't stack, and I want mine to be stacking. You can still kind of see inside what would be in there, what color at least. So that's my medium size, and I have 12 of those, because that is the size I like the most. Then, oh, these boxes are such good quality. Uh, I got smaller ones. Oh, those are cute. You know, if you just want to do something small, like maybe a little bookmark or just a little project, you don't need to carry a big basket around with you. You can just take a small basket and conveniently they stack together, right? So th those are the medium and the small size. And the small, these, the small ones come in a pack of 12. So you get 12 of these already. If you want to shop for a different style, you look for um, pantry baskets. That's what they are. They're not storage baskets, they're pantry baskets. Pantry basket means you don't need a lid. I don't need a lid, it's a whip basket. And then last, the last size, this the big ones. This is for like blankets you know, frankly, circles, something like that, you can fit a big project in here and it doesn't like fall off the top or anything, you can pack everything in and it should still stack. Hmm? All together. How cute is that? So, those are my new whip baskets. So now I'm ready to get organized, get all my whips organized and get my shelves looking cute like all being like oop, everything matching and everything looking nice and fresh. So that was my big splurge because I had to get my button here. Hmm? Worked out, right? And then one more little thing, not crochet related, but I did grab my Christmas puzzle for 2022 for this coming Christmas. It is my favorite brand, Christmas puzzle. It was on sale for $18, I think. So don't mind that a bit. Always good to have a Christmas puzzle and I never remember before Christmas because I'm not thinking puzzles at Christmas. I'm thinking like, you know, practical things. So got this early for this coming year. So that is what I have going on for crochet stuff. So excited. So Tuesday morning, I'll be going through my whips, getting my new baskets set up with whips inside them and UFOing projects that I'm not interested in right now. And then maybe next month we'll go through the UFOs.
something like that. So if that's of interest to you, it will be a premiere and I'll also be linking that now because I know I'm going to be doing it on Tuesday. So you can put a little reminder for yourself and that's super great. If you are a friend or family member, it is our monthly live chat on Monday. So that is for friends and family. That will be over on our community tab. You'll be able to see it if you are a channel member that is friends or family level. Is that all I got to say? I think so. I also have a really super cute, I should have showed you, but I got, so I got too excited with my shopping. Um, a super cute shamrock bookmark pattern and tutorial coming up tomorrow. So that is super, um, like, so cute. Took me ages. I actually thought it was just like a four leaf clover was a shamrock. I'm like, that's a shamrock. I'm like, no, that's a four leaf clover. Anyway, thank, thankfully I Googled it before I made a pattern and then uh, figured out how to get it to look like that. So that pattern's coming out tomorrow, super easy and quick, and just uses up little scraps of yarn. So that's all I have for you this weekend. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing yesterday. I'll put a little montage, I think that's the word you're supposed to use, of putting it all on the shelves right after this. And thanks so much for inviting me over. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Stay hooked. I know, right? Now let's get the yarn on the shelves. <laughs> I just want to sit here. Okay, honestly, where are we going to put it? Hmm? I want to make one of those spinners. You know, like those gangsters wear? Those necklace spinners, except mine will be my play button. I'll be like, what? Hmm? I'm going to need a hat with some rhinestones. <laughs> oh, my poor children. <laughs> okay, I won't do that. I won't. <laughs>